Hey guys, I'm here with my first Bath & Body Works Fall 2019 haul. They had a buy to get to sale this past weekend. So you buy two and you get two free. And then they had a 10 off 30 coupon in the email. So I used that. I did four in store and then I did four online because there were some scents online that I wanted to get that were online only that I've been wanting to try that a lot of people have been talking about and already hauled and some people have even reviewed them but I haven't bought them yet so I wanted to try them myself and see. So like I said I did four in store and four online. So we'll start off first with the four that I got in store and like I said they were buy two get two free and then you get your 10 off 30 coupon and that dropped them down to like 9.75 each without tax before tax so that's that's a pretty good deal that's almost close to candle day sale prices you can't you haven't been able to get them that cheap for quite a while the cheapest they've had them has been like 10 off which is makes them like 1450 and then like a 20 percent off coupon and drops it down to like i don't know like 11 or 12 dollars um but they haven't been nine dollars for a long time so that's a really good deal so i decided to get me some stuff here so first up we will show you cinnamon Cinnamon Irish Cream. And this is the one with the, what is this called? Acorn, I forget the collection. It's something to do with acorns and squirrels and all that kind of stuff. It's got the squirrels and the leaves on there and then little acorns on the lid. It's like a gold <laughs> lid. Three wicks, this has just white wax in this one. And I've already burned it. As you can see, I couldn't wait to start burning this one before I did the haul. So I, I, this is, I burned it twice now. So this one reads, Cinnamon Spice Liqueur Irish Cream French Vanilla with Essential Oils. This one's really, really good. It's so good. I'm loving this one. When I burned it, it's just as good as it is when you smell it on cold. So it is similar to cinnamon frosting. A lot of people compared to that. And when I smelled it in the store, I did kind of agree, but it's, it's more creamy. It's got more vanilla. Cinnamon frosting had a little more cinnamon and this has definitely more vanilla than cinnamon frosting did. But you almost get like, you do get kind of a little bit of a slight bit of a liqueur on cold, but when you burn it, it's not as much. Um, it says Irish cream. Yes, you definitely get the cream with the cinnamon and French vanilla. Definitely cream and French vanilla. Totally. And then that cinnamon. It's like a creamy cinnamon. A little bit of liqueur. On cold sniff, I got a little bit of a coffee note. But when I burn it, I don't really get much coffee at all. I just get cinnamon and vanilla. Cream and vanilla and cinnamon Irish cream it could kind of come off like an irish cream liqueur type of drink but it's not real strong on, a, on a, the liqueur uh boozy note or anything it's really nice though really good it's not too christmasy or anything because of the cinnamon it comes off like a fall scent kind of or kind of just anytime really to be honest it's really good and it's been burning good so far as you can see the wicks are doing good when i did first slide it though the first few hours I wasn't getting anything and I thought, oh no, it's not throwing. Because I'd heard some people say that theirs weren't throwing. A few people have said theirs weren't throwing, but then quite a few people said that theirs were was strong and they could smell it. But then after a couple of hours, I turned on my fan, my ceiling fan that I have on now in the bedroom because I had it going in the bedroom right here behind me on my uh, TV, uh, TV stand here. And once I turned the fan on, it blew the center around and I started smelling it. But then after that, even when I didn't have the fan on, it's been fine. I put it in my open, open concept area and it's been fine. Nice and strong. So, yeah, really good. I'll try to do a review of this one once I burn it down a little bit further. And then next we have Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. This is one that I had last year and I really liked it, so I wanted to pick it up again. And it has the pumpkin on there. And it's brown wax. This has the lid with just like the pumpkin on it there. Pumpkin with the little leaves on the top of the pumpkin. Like I said, brown wax, three wicks. This one reads, crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, 
toasted pumpkin seeds with essential oils. Yes, this is really good. It was so good last year. It was so strong. It was like eight and a half to nine when I burned it last year. It's just you get such a good, it reminds me like peanut butter. It's definitely peanut butter. You get a nuttiness and like people have mentioned Ritz crackers. It kind of does have like a Ritz cracker quality. Like you have peanut butter on Ritz crackers kind of. Yeah, and you do get like a peanut, peanut, peanut butter type of smell and peanuts. Um, it says, what else? Um, crunchy caramel brittle. I could see the brittle type of part, like maybe a peanut brittle a little bit, but I don't get caramel. I don't really get caramel in here. Not much, no. Um, salty peanuts, yes. Toasted pumpkin seeds. Maybe kind of. Toasted pumpkin seeds a little bit, maybe. It's really good, though. It just reminds me of peanut butter. It's very peanut buttery yeah, and like Ritz crackers. Really good, really strong. So I'm excited to see if it'll be just as good as it was last year. Then next we have the Perfect Autumn. And that has a picture with the leaves with the little sun, like a little heart in the leaf with the sun shining through. It's pretty. And this has the leaf lid. I really like that lid. That's really, really cool. The etched leaf in there. And then it has three wicks. And it's like a red burgundy kind of color. Wax. So I went back and forth with this one if I wanted to get this one. There was a couple other ones that I was trying to decide, but I decided to get this one because it does smell good. It's so fall. Very fall-like. Oh, let me read the set notes first. Fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove with essential oils. Yeah, you get all of that. You get the apple, you get the clove, you get the cranberry, and what else was it? Pumpkin, spiced pumpkin. A little bit, just a little hint of spiced pumpkin, but you really get that cranberry and that apple. And the cloves, definitely. And there's a little hint of pumpkin. It reminds me kind of a cross between leaves and cranberry woods it's kind of a mixture of that a little bit maybe even little autumn thrown in there just a little bit of like the apple but you don't get like any balsam or anything but like uh autumn has like that pine and balsam you don't get any of that really you mostly get like uh yeah that such that good apples and cloves and cranberry it's a little bit of pumpkin yeah it's really good so this was out last year, I believe, but I didn't have it last year. I never tried it, so I figured I'd give it a shot this year and see how it is. But it's really good, very, very fall. And then lastly, for the in-store purchases, we have one that I really wanted to try because I love pumpkin scents, and it is pumpkin clove. This has another picture with leaves there, and then it has like this the little forest there with the trees with the pretty leaves on it, and then the sun in the background here. This has got like an orange pumpkin colored wax. It's got the leaf lid as well. Three wicks. This one reads clove buds, ground cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg, fresh pumpkin with essential oils. Mmm, this one's really good. Oh, I love this one. This one is everything pumpkin goodness and cloves. You really get the cloves. It's really strong in cloves. So you don't like cloves. You might not like this because it's definitely cloves. Clove and pumpkin for sure. And you get cinnamon. You get cinnamon there too. But it's not a red hot cinnamon. It's, it's definitely like a fall cinnamon. And then the clove buds. Um, what else? Pinch of nutmeg. Yeah, just a pinch because it's not a lot of nutmeg. Just a little pinch. But mostly it's the clove and the cinnamon and the pumpkin. Oh, it's really good. It does smell a little bit similar to a sweet cinnamon pumpkin, which a lot of people have mentioned, but it's, I don't think it's a direct, it's, it's not a dupe at all. It's got similarities, but this is way better to me. I'm not the hugest fan of sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I don't mind it. It's okay. I can deal with it every once in a while, but this is way better to me. This has got much more cloves, and, and sweet cinnamon pumpkin, I think, maybe had a little more cinnamon. But this is such better, so so much better to me and I don't really think it's like um, heirloom pumpkin pumpkin patch all that stuff because I'm not a real big fan of though something about heirloom pumpkin there's something in heirloom pumpkin some spice that I just don't really care for 
but this doesn't have it to me. Whatever's in that is not in this to me. This is really good. It also kind of reminds me a little bit of Spiced Pumpkin from Yankee Candle, which is one of my favorite fall candles of all time. It's similar, but this is a little bit more clove and a little more cinnamon than that has in it. Oh, so good. I can't wait to burn it. It's such, this is another fall, really good fall. The Perfect Autumn and uh, Pumpkin Clove just scream fall. Okay, so now we will go to my online order. First up we have Pumpkin Pie. I was so excited to get this because I love Pumpkin Pie. Not only the actual pumpkin pie, but I love the candle pumpkin pie. This, uh, I didn't have it, did it, it, a few years ago, I haven't had it for a few years. I don't think it was out last year. It was out, oh, it came out in that, what was that, pumpkin vanilla that they said was kind of a dupe for pumpkin pie. It came out last year in the, um, the, uh, what do you call that? The flat jars, the flat round ones, whatever those are called, I can't remember what they're called. But yeah, the pumpkin vanilla was supposed to smell like this last year, but I never found that at my store, so I didn't get to get it. So now I was super excited that I got a chance to get pumpkin pie. I love that label with the picture of the pie with the whipped cream. And then it has kind of an orange wax as well. And it has the pumpkin on the top there. Three wicks, of course. This one reads, creamy pumpkin, vanilla cream, fresh ground nutmeg, graham cracker crust with essential oils. Mmm. Oh, so good. God, it's so good. This is probably... <laughs> this is up there as far as my favorite pumpkin scent of all time. Spice Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. Pumpkin Pie right here. And uh, Pumpkin Spice from Bath & Body Works as well. White Barn Bath & Body Works. They didn't bring that one out last year or this year. But that's... I love Pumpkin Spice. I wish they would have brought that back as well, but they didn't. But I'll... But at least they brought pumpkin pie back because I love that. Those are my top three pumpkin scents of all time. It's, this is, you definitely get everything. You get the pumpkin, you get the nutmeg. This is, this is definitely more heavier on the nutmeg than like pumpkin clove. That was definitely more clove in this one. This, um, this one. <laughs> definitely more clove and pumpkin clove and definitely more nutmeg and pumpkin pie. But you get a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of clove, definitely nutmeg. Yeah, and you get a little bit of pie crust. You do get a little crust, not a super strong crust note. It's not as much as like um, warm apple pie, definitely had more crust note. Um, berry waffle cone, real strong bakery crust. Um, blueberry pie, those, it's not quite as much of a crust note as those had. But you do get a little bit of it in there. But this, when you burn this, it's so good. It just fills your whole house with such a good scent. That's amazing. I can't wait to burn that. Love pumpkin pie. Next we have, we'll do this one, sugared snickerdoodle. Oh, and the pumpkin pie was online. Where's that? It was online. These are all four that I got online were on, are online only right now. You can't get them in stores as of yet anyway. Sugared snickerdoodle is the next one. This has a picture of the snickerdoodles on there. Two snickerdoodles. It's got leaves around there. And it's got the pumpkin on the top. And it's got like a kind of a um, tan wax three wicks this reads warm spices creamy vanilla sugared musk with essential oils this one's really good too it this one surprised me I like this more than I thought I was gonna like it because I'd heard it was just kind of basic and simple but it is but it's good it's really good it smells like a sh snickerdoodle like a sugar cookie slash snickerdoodle. I mean, you definitely get the spices. Basically the only difference between a sugar cookie and a snickerdoodle is just the snickerdoodle has like spices, like cinnamon and, and things, nutmeg and stuff. And sugar cookie just doesn't have any spices really. So yeah, you did get the warmer spices, the creamy vanilla, sugared musk. I don't get any sugared musk at all. You just get much real good, nice bakery scent cookies, the warm spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg. You can even, like, it's like you almost have a little snickerdoodle cookie. You smell that, the cookie, like the, the not necessarily dough, but like the, the cookie once it's baked. You can really smell that in there. Now, I don't think this is a dupe for anything. This is a brand new scent. 
I can't stop smelling it. I like this a lot, it's really good. So we'll see how that does when it burns. Next we have another online exclusive banana cream pie. And this one of course has a picture of the pie. I love banana cream pie. And as much, as almost as much as pumpkin pie. And then has the designs of the leaves and stuff behind it as well. This is also got like a kind of a yellowish tan wax three wicks. Fresh banana slices, whipped cream, scoop of peanut butter, and cookie crumble crust with essential oils, as always. So this one's a little bit lighter than I thought. It's not a super strong banana scent. But you definitely get the banana. Um, I get the like the cream, a creamy banana. Almost kind of smells like uh, banana pudding. Um, creaminess. I'm not getting peanut butter on cold. I don't get peanut butter at all on cold. So we'll see if that, I think I might have heard it comes out a little bit when you burn it. But yeah, you get the fresh banana slices and the cream, whipped cream. Scoop of peanut butter, I don't get that on cold. Cookie crumble crust. Maybe just a tad. It's not super bakery crust, crust like, but you get a hint of that in there, but you definitely get that bananas and the creaming, banana cream, maybe just a hint of the, of the crust. But it does kind of smell like a banana cream pie or almost like a, uh, there's like a um, vanilla, vanilla wafer uh, poke cake that I used to, or pudding cake that I used to make that has like banana pudding and you put um, like crushed root, uh, vanilla wafers on the bottom and then you poke holes in it. Uh, you can do a cake or you can just do it with vanilla wafers on there. That kind of a dessert kind of reminds me of that too. It's good. It smells good. A little bit lighter than I thought, but we'll see how it is when it burns. Then lastly, we have the much talked about infamous PB&J. Of course, I had to try the PB&J because it's been talked about so much. I do like the label though, even though it's a donut. Not, it's not a peanut butter jelly sandwich. It's just a donut that's got jelly on there oh, and then like crunchy peanut butter maybe on this side and of course it's got the leaves and stuff around it too it's like a white wax three wicks i really like that picture though it looks really good it looks like a peanut butter and jelly donut with like like glaze dipping glaze and you got crunchy nuts on the side and maybe some peanut butter and then jelly drizzled that would be really good a peanut butter and jelly donut so let's see it reads here Fresh strawberry jam, toasted bread, crunchy peanut butter, drizzle of honey with essential oils. <laughs> okay, so I agree with everybody that says it has a cologne note because I definitely get a cologne note in here. <sighs> but then you get a little bit of other stuff underneath it. it the cologne note does maybe kind of have a little of a mahogany do I want to say mahogany teakwood ish in there? I hate mahogany teakwood. I cannot do mahogany teakwood at all. But it's not quite as, it's definitely not as, as offensive as mahogany teakwood is, in my opinion, anyway. But it's got a little hint of that in there. Like a little, like a light mahogany teakwood. But then underneath it, I feel like I get. Maybe a little bit of that jam, and I can feel that peanut butter in there, maybe kind of like wanting to come out a little bit. Way underneath that. It's mixed together with that, which is kind of weird to think of like peanut butter and like jam mixed with like mahogany cologne type of scent. But it's not terrible to me. Many people have said this is just totally gross and they don't like it at all. I will say it takes a lot for me to think a candle is completely disgusting. I'm very open-minded and like, not really open-minded, but like it, there's very few candles that I just absolutely hate. I, you know, definitely more that I like more than others and I have my favorites of course and the ones I don't really care for that much, but like ones that I absolutely could totally hate, there's not that many for me. So I don't hate this. It's different, it's just totally different. I've heard a lot of people say that once you burn it, that cologne note kind of goes away and like that peanut butter and jelly kind of comes out a little bit more and it actually ends up smelling pretty good. 
And some people have said it actually smells more like peanut butter jelly once you burn it. I don't... I could maybe get a little bit of bread in there. The, what do they say? The toasted bread? Toasted bread? I don't know. Maybe a little bit. I feel like it's all kind of like in there underneath that little bit of cologne that's wanting to come out underneath that cologne. It's like they put the little bit of the layer of cologne in there and then the rest is underneath it. I'm, I'm not sure. I know the French baguette I'd heard some people say, and I agree, because I, I thought the same thing when I smelled it in the store. When I first smelled French baguette in the store, I thought it smelled a little cologne-y. But then mixed with like a French bread baguette smell. So I don't know if maybe it's that bread note in there that maybe has a little bit of cologne to it. I don't know. But, yeah, it's different. I'm very curious to see how this is, to see if maybe I am like some other people, and when I burn it, I end up liking it. But like I said, I don't hate it on Cold Sniff. I'm not absolutely in love with it or anything, but it's different, it's interesting. It's kind of good. We'll see. We will see. Okay, so that is my haul from Bath & Body Works, um, fall 2019. I think um, that's probably going to be it. There might be a few more that come out that I might want to try, but um, I don't really need many more than that. I have three Yankee Candles I bought, and then that's eight of this, If unless there's a couple um, that I really want to have that come out later. I know there's some uh, scents that are at test stores right now um, that have come out. I have the Fall Festival that are friend and subscriber Tony she sent me that and I burned that I'm gonna do a review on that one hopefully soon um, that one's out I don't know if that's gonna pass test or not and come out and there's a few other ones as well so um, we'll see what comes out to stores maybe within the next month or so all right so thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all in our next video bye